Good morning, Menham family, you guys, and happy Sunday, you guys. And uh, tell you the truth, normally when it comes to a Sunday, usually they're pretty lazy, you know, and pretty quiet. But for us this morning, though, that is the complete opposite, you guys. It has been busy here. We've been helping trying to clean the house and stuff because we're having some family relatives coming out from downstate coming to see us. So uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be want to be on the vlog or not. But nonetheless, though, it is kind of nice that we're having some company coming over just for a little bit because it is Mother's Day weekend, you guys. So happy Mother's Day to all those hardworking moms out there by the way you guys so especially to my mom too because she's been working hard too as well you know trying to pay the bills and taking great care of us no matter what happens you know um, and she's not giving up hope for my brother too which is also really a good thing as well so anywho though I hope you guys are having a great start to your day I am not entirely sure what to expect for this kind of day here you know because it's absolutely beautiful outside so I don't know, maybe we should just go outside and get some sun, you guys, because it's actually pretty warm out, so I don't know. But let me know what's going on with you guys today, because right now, uh, like I said, been a bit of a busy morning here, so uh, I may, my hair is still pretty messy looking right now, but I'm hoping to eventually get my hair cut sometime this week, so let's go ahead, head outside, and just get some of that good sun. A couple weeks ago, I came across something on YouTube, you guys. You guys, everybody that you know, loves wildlife and conservation. Everybody has heard of the channel Brave Wilderness, you guys, and the host Coyote Peterson. And I've actually seen a lot of his content before, you guys, and I honestly really love it. And when I'm the reason I'm bringing this up is because just a couple weeks ago, I came across on something on his YouTube channel, actually, that really blew my mind, you guys, about something about a new species of toad that may have been discovered. So I thought I might want to go ahead and share it with you guys and try and figure out exactly on what kind of toad it is. Now obviously you guys know that I'm more of a snake guy, you know, a snake and a little lizard guy, but since I do like wildlife in general too, I figure we can go ahead and maybe go ahead and a little bit of a discussion and figure out what kind of toad species we're dealing with. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and watch that episode on the Brave Wilderness channel, you guys, because I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'll go ahead, bring, come back to you guys in a little bit, and we'll go ahead and discuss on exactly what kind of toad it might be, and if it is a new species, what could it, what could it be originated from? So let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think. I obviously want to do one more thing though before we get into the video here for today, everybody. Um, believe it or not, I've had this little garter snake down here, you guys. are probably close to a little over a week now. And I still haven't gotten a name for her yet, so any name suggestions in the comments down below would be really nice, you guys. Um, I'm looking into maybe, let's see what the ones are in the last vlog, so um, feel free to give me any name suggestions, you guys, because this little girl is so sweet, you guys. She's already taken her first meal a few days ago, so now it's off, time to offer her, her next meal, so uh, fingers crossed that she will take another piece, you guys. And obviously what I'm feeding her right now is little small pieces of tilapia fillets, so uh, hopefully things go well because obviously this was the last meal my girl Daisy had before she passed away so um, obviously I think it was an accident you guys that maybe she ingested a piece of it that was maybe too big but um, right now all I can do is just focus on the present day you guys so hopefully uh, this little girl will eat again for us so let's go ahead and see if she's interested you guys literally she is super tiny you guys you don't understand I'm gonna show you guys literally how little she is. I mean, look at that. She's literally buried under this bedding here, you guys. Here, I'll give you guys a quick look on how little she is. This, you guys, is like a five or a six quart tub. And literally, you guys can see my hand right near her. She's literally like a month old, so <laughs> she's very, very special. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, she'll take a little piece of tilapia. The first one I'm gonna give it a try is a little teeny tiny piece here. So we'll see if she has any interest. Come here, baby. Come here. Are you hungry? Are you hungry for another piece? You hungry? Come here, sweetie. Are you hungry? Huh. Are you hungry? Come on, girl. Want to take another? Aww. Guess she's not hungry, guys. I thought for sure she'd be really, really interested in the next piece, but if she ain't hungry, then she's not hungry. But I think I'll try again later on, you guys, see if she has any interest. So, but uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any name suggestions for her, because she's real, oh, and she's a little bit skittish. But nonetheless, though, she is a cutie pie. So, uh, hopefully, like I said, we'll have a name for her soon, and I'll announce it in the vlog here, you guys. So, 
uh, I'm gonna really enjoy this moment, but she's absolutely adorable. Okay, you guys, so a little bit um, off topic here for the vlog. Uh, apparently something very unusual happened uh, today. And, well, it all started, I guess, this morning when I woke up, uh, I was about to get ready for work, and I heard a, a loud thud. And obviously it was somewhere in my room. It woke me up and I look around, you know, at first I, I take a look around, you know, and see what, what it was. And I don't see anything, anything broken at the moment. And just as I'm getting out of bed, that's when I make the discovery to this. This lid was the screen top of Lucy's cage here, you guys, broke. And obviously, this could not have been obviously natural. So obviously, I got my suspect already on hand. And I obviously who know who it was right off the bat. And it had to be my cat, Bagheera, you guys. Because, it, believe it or not, I have caught him once or twice actually sitting on top of the screen cage on, of Lucy's enclosure. And I try to shoo him off, you guys. Because obviously, I know he should not be up there. But I think finally the cage, the screen's weight finally gave way. So, apparently, uh, Bagheera wrecked the cage. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to do at this moment. But, with that being said, I mean, I guess, I, like I said, I did say Lucy's going to need an upgrade. So, uh, but the good news is, though, you guys, Lucy did not escape when after this happened you guys which is a good thing so she was hiding in her little cave the entire time which is awesome um and obviously i decided to go ahead and move her into this 10 gallon tank which was supposed to be for the new snake that i just got in so um unfortunately i think the my new garter that just came in you guys it's probably gonna have to wait a little bit longer to be in this little container and, until we get figure out what to do with this cage here at this moment so uh nonetheless though uh, I don't think he meant for it to happen, but I think it scared him pretty good, so. But nonetheless, uh, right now, I'm gonna try and decide what to do with uh, the screen right now. Well, actually, I gotta make a decision here eventually on what's best, so. And uh, this did not go according to plan, so. Obviously, nothing I could really do about it at this moment, but hopefully I'll think of something soon, and uh, Lucy's literally looking right up, literally giving me that look thinking, on why she was put in here like literally she looked confused so but nonetheless though she's doing perfectly fine you guys she doesn't seem that stressed at all so uh well that's your entertainment i guess for the day but literally you guys this cage cost me about close to 200 dollars. literally i'm not even kidding almost 200 bucks so that cat costs me big time so I'm not looking forward to replacing this but at some point I don't know what to do, like I said, but I'll think of something here eventually, so. Anywho, uh, hopefully you guys' day is doing awesome. So, I guess with the slight change of course, everybody, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to do our first, uh, perping adventure of the year. And I come to one of my favorite spots that I've been coming here numerous, numerous times over the years, and to my surprise, this is what I find. All of this pile of wood right here. And look at this, there's a sign, it says free wood, free wood, and it has to be piled up right here. I don't know you guys, not probably the best spot for it to be. Maybe I could try and move some of it, maybe more towards onto the actual like foundation instead of letting it dangle over. So, well, welcome to 2022 everybody, spring's officially here. All right. Let's check under here, see if there's anything. Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh, it's a mouse. It looks like it's trying to make a nest under here. Huh, looks like she's ready to have babies. Well, hi there, mama. You're okay, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm not looking for you, I'm looking for snakes. But so far, I don't see any, but keep your eye out for them. Hmm. I don't see that every day. Well, that spot was empty. So let's go ahead and try and next this little spot here. Try and flip this little piece of wood. Uh, nothing. Lots of ants. Lots and lots of ants. Huh. 
I want to scan around too and see if there's anything maybe out in the open that's trying to stay hidden. Usually whether it's a garter snake or a grass snake out here. But so far I'm not seeing anything suspicious. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open, wide open though. So uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything under these rocks. <laughs> that's kind of a too obvious one to flip. And of course, you guys, believe it or not, there are red-bellied snakes out here that I've seen before. You just don't see them too often, but since they're so small, I would assume there might be a couple around nearby, especially in these smaller rock piles. I've even seen even a few rare ringnecks around here I've seen before, but don't see them a whole lot either. Nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Well, I mean, again, I don't see anything suspicious at all, so probably nothing quite here yet, but that doesn't mean nothing will ever come through here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next spot, but I'm gonna check out the ponds just up around the corner here and see if there's anything. Because I can hear some spring peepers already and some toads croaking out there. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what's out there out by the water. Who knows? Might even see a turtle or two, too. But uh, right now, nothing yet. But uh, again, I'm not giving up so easy, you guys. This little spring has just arrived. So let's go ahead and uh, see what else we can find out here. So, this spot here is definitely a spot that I like to check out. Because not only do I find snakes here once in a while, but sometimes you might find toads, salamanders even. So, and occasionally some spiders too. But nonetheless though, still a good spot for snakes you guys, because you can see this like tarp thing, whatever it is, it's a good hiding spot. The snake is looking for a place to stay cool or warm. This is the place to be. So I'm gonna flip this rock here and see if anything's under there, and off the bat, nothing. Now I am a little bit nervous because I don't want a wolf spider coming out on front of me, so. Uh, nothing so far. Well guys, so far I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing a thing, everybody. Yep, not seeing a thing here, folks. Starting to go a little cold. Yep, hate to say it folks, but I don't think anything's gonna show itself, so. Well, I won't give up yet. Still got a couple more places to check out for you people. So I'm sorry to disappoint y'all on that expedition out there in the wild. Did not find anything but a couple of mice, so. But I mean, it's only springtime, you guys, so we still got a few months until they have to go back to hibernation. But um, nonetheless though, I mean, today was not did not go according to plan so I guess there's that's all I can do so anywho you guys I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this video up here for the night so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for for, for, for me and turn on that notification bell you guys to stay notified of every video that I post I promise see you all on the next one